Most guys think that yoga is just mung bean eating, sandal wearing, uh, freshly dread trustafarians. Yoga is, you know, pink lycra and, and vegan chicks. You have to be in touch with your feminine side. They either think of the guy barefoot in the Himalayas with dreads, or they might think of that oiled up guy in a calendar. Being for, you know, yogurt weavers and, uh, and hippies. Stereotypes and words can confine us into a narrow like tunnel and we, and we miss the bigger picture. In fact, it stops some of us just from trying anything because we think we got it figured out just basically on a definition. You know, so much these days yoga is very one dimensional. You know, you see it one way and that's it. And people recognize that yoga is just girls in pink lycra and stretchy pants. And there's no space for guys to get involved. And in many ways it's embarrassing or it's even hard to get involved. I've been DJing and producing records since the 90s. Um, Travelled all over the world with it. A uh, very hectic lifestyle. When I was growing up, I got involved in uh, a lot of naughtiness, misspent youth, um, a lot of drugs, a lot of drinking. I was in the cadets, so shooting stuff, flying planes. The biggest issue that guys have with yoga is the word yoga itself. Normal guys, guys, guys do yoga too. People who watch football on the, on the weekends um, and don't just go to the ballet. You know, some men think that yoga makes you less of a man. You know, the truth is it makes you a better one. You just need to be man enough to be open to that. The embarrassment is kids watching their parents dance and like that is when you feel true embarrassment. There's no point in the yoga studio where you ever got a reason to really feel embarrassed no matter what you're doing. So I guess when a few people start yoga, the initial reaction is, you know, why are you doing it? Are you a dancer? Are you gay? What's going on? What's your, what's your game? Why are you doing yoga? You know, naturally as a society, women are far more open to things. You know, especially, you know, in we'll say a Western culture in places like the UK or the US, Australia, those places, you know, men are men. And so straight away when you say yoga, they go, whoa, not my thing. Yoga is the, the full package for me. Um, it has everything that I need, you know, it brings in flexibility, the strength, the balance, the awareness of self, the calmness of mind, the focus, you know. You know, as I'm getting older, it helps me keep limber, it helps me keep strong, um, gives me a strength that you don't get from, you know, pushing weights around in a gym. Actually, yoga can be a lot more for you. It can be the physical workout that you want. You can get ripped doing yoga. You can stand on your head, you can do all this cool stuff. But it's not only good for you on the mat, mentally, the sweet things too. You know, a lot of times people think, oh, I can't go to yoga. You know, it's not accessible. There's an obstacle I need to get past. It's almost like the door's closed and I need to break it down to get inside. You know, for yoga, it's about the door's open. You just need to choose to come inside.